Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you. Glory to you, O God. Glory to you. O death, make in the crown for your spirit, truth, good, and it fills all things. Count your blessings and give her blood. Come, remind us and cleanse us from heavy impurity and tear our souls, O good one. Holy God, we might do it, might have mercy on us. Holy God, we might do it, might have mercy on us. Holy God, we might do it, might have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon transgressions, Holy One, faith in Him, for me, for Thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, happy Thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Chosen by the Holy Spirit of God from your soul.
righteous, enlighten your spiritual eyes, that you might serve his people and the works of God be made manifest through you. Wherefore, with love, we cry unto you such things as these. Rejoice for appointing the way to the fair. 
storm of bewilderment and confusion in the people concerning your miracles was dispelled, and them that were made wise by God, who is wondrous in his saints, glorified and praised you, and with thanksgiving sang unto God, Alleluia. anger him, 
and seeing the miracles performed by you, they turn to the Lord, crying to you in gratitude, Lord. Rejoice your feet, glorifying God. Rejoice your beautiful soul, the glory of God. Rejoice, kind of the faithless to the
diseases you did bear, Mother Matrona, ever leading the faithful with, for, with the forces of darkness, denouncing their machinations in guile, and expelling demons from the possessed, and up to the end of your days you helped them in sufferings, illnesses, and grievings, ever singing to God, Alleluia. Shine 
Princess Matrona, enlightening the darkness of this too busy world, and you draw unto you our souls. Wherefore, we by the ray of the grace of God will be enlightened, and our mournful way in this temporal life shall pass in a manner pleasing to God, and thus attain unto the kingdom of God, where you, Mother, now take up your abode, hearing our voice calling to you. Rejoice ever, Mary, which we sing to you and ask for us of the Lord Jesus Christ the remission of sins a Christian death and a peaceful repose and a good answer at his dread judgment and that we shall be blessed with you in the dwellings of paradise to glorify the Holy Trinity crying Alleluia
to glorify the Holy Trinity, crying, Alleluia. Again and again on bended knees, let us pray to our Holy Mother, Matrona. Bless Mother Matrona, your soul in heaven stands before the throne of God. Your body rests upon earth, and you bestow diverse miracles through grace given you from on high. Look down with your merciful eye upon us sinners who pass our days in sorrows, sicknesses, and sinful temptations. Console us who are in despair. Heal our grievous ailments which God allowed because of our sins. Deliver us from any misfortunes and attacks of evil spirits. Beseech our Lord Jesus Christ to forgive us all our trespasses, transgressions, and falls, and our sins committed from our youth up to the present day and hour. By your prayers attain for us grace and great mercy, that we may glorify the Trinity, one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great goodness, we pray thee, 
Hearken unto mercy. Again, we pray for his beatitude, Metropolitan Tico, and his eminence, Archbishop Paul, for priests, deacons, and all the clergy, and for all our brethren in Christ. Again, we pray for the president of our country, for all civil authorities, and for our armed forces everywhere. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, the ill afflicted. Metropolitan Herman, the Archpriest Daniel, the Archpriest Michael, the Agumen Patrick, Matushka Valeria, Matushka Myra, Matushka Raisa, the Child Sidney, the Child Carolyn, Stacy, Harry, Sue, James, Nancy, Carl, Lorraine, Ron, Drew, Kathy, Treva, Melissa, Jeffrey, Albert, Dennis, Livia, Anne, Patricia, Robert, Sherelle, Natasha, Kenneth, Rachel, Kenneth, Sophia, Grady, Terry, Lynette, Cameron, Vincent, Genevieve, Anne, and Sue, and especially for all those afflicted by the ongoing pandemic and among them, the Archpriest Emilion, the Priest Ville, Eric, Christine, George, Brenda, John, Elizabeth, Pam, Mike, Michelle, Joanne, Natalie, Michael, Miles, Michelle, Claudia, Michael, Ashley and her unborn child and all the ill afflicted, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. We have sinned and we are transgressed, and therefore thy righteous anger has visited us, O Lord, and the darkness of death has encompassed us, and we have drawn nigh unto the gates of Hades. But with compunction we cry out unto thee, our God, and in our infirmities. Spare us, spare thy people, and destroy us not utterly. Humbly we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, who rulest by life and by death, do thou not enclose the souls of thy servants in death, but turn aside from wrath and forsake anger. For our days vanish like smoke, and our strength has wasted away, and we are perishing utterly because of our sins. Be thou merciful unto thy servants who are repenting with tears. We pray thee, hearken and have mercy. flesh, O Lord, whose breath when it departs shall not return, and mercifully turn aside thy wrath that has justly taken hold of us, by which is with a sword thou hast grievously visited us. Do thou set aright the pain and appease the wounds that suddenly are destroying us? For the dead do not praise thee, neither all them that have descended into Hades, but we the living praise thee, and groaning with pain in our hearts we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. More than all others, we have sinned against thee, and we have transgressed, O Master, and if we have not acquired repentance, instead of repentance, accept our offering. And having set thyself to mercy as thou art almighty, free thy servants from death-bearing sickness and grievous afflictions. Groaning in pain, we pray thee, quickly hearken and have mercy. Remember not the transgressions and unrighteousness of thy people, and enter not into judgment with thy servants, neither incline with wrath because of thy servants. If thou markest iniquities, O Lord, who could stand, 
For we are dust and ashes, and our substances as nothing before thee. But as thou art compassionate and the lover of mankind, show loving kindness and do not destroy us in thine anger on account of our transgressions. We pray thee, O most good God, hearken and have mercy. Thou who desirest not the death of sinners, but that they should turn back and live as the fountain of life, give life unto us who are worthy of death by thy righteous judgment. For thou art God who rulest by life and by death. Destroy us not in the wrath of thy threatening with great lamentation in the affliction of our hearts and with tears. We pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Look down with mercy upon the affliction of thy people, O Lord, and showing loving kindness with thine outstretched arm. Do thou command the angel that is destroying us as once in the time of David, thou dost give command that it is enough and stay his hand, that he not destroy us utterly. For you we also, confessing unto thee in repentance, as did David cry out, We have sinned and we have transgressed, and none of us are worthy of thy tender mercy. But as thou art compassionate, do thou thyself alone art being entreated because of thy loving kindness. Show thine ancient mercy and spare the people in the sheep of thy pasture. We pray thee, quickly hearken and have mercy. Furthermore, we pray for the people here present, awaiting from thee great and bountiful mercies for all the brethren and for all Christians. For thou art a merciful God and loves mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Let us pray to the Lord. O God Almighty, Lord of heaven and earth and of all creation, visible and invisible, in thine ineffable goodness look down upon us, thy people gathered in thy holy name. Be our helper and defender in this day of affliction. Thou knowest our weakness, thou hearest our cry and repentance and contrition of heart. O Lord who loves mankind, Deliver us from the impending threat of the coronavirus. Send thine angel to watch over us and protect us. Grant health and recovery to those suffering from this virus. Guide the hands of our physicians, nurses, and healthcare professionals, and preserve those who are healthy. Enable us to continue to serve our suffering brothers and sisters in peace, that together we may glorify thy most honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Wisdom most holy Theotokos save us. Glory to thee, O Christ our God, and our sure hope. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Amen. May Christ, our true God, through the prayers of his most true mother, the holy, glorious, and allotable apostle, the power of the precious and light creating cross, our Father, among the saints, Nicholas, the wonder worker, Archbishop Mary and Lysia, the patron of this holy temple, all the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for as much as he is good and loves mankind. Amen. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. 